A U.S. Air Force gunship has conducted a strike against suspected members of al-Qaeda in the African country of Somalia. The targets included the senior al-Qaeda leader in East Africa and an al-Qaeda operative wanted for his involvement in the 1998 bombings of two American embassies in Africa. The AC-130 gunship is capable of firing thousands of rounds per second, and sources say a lot of bodies were seen on the ground after the strike. But there is, as yet, no confirmation of the identities. The gunship flew from its base in Djibouti down to the southern tip of Somalia, where the al-Qaeda operatives had fled after being chased out of the capital of Mogadishu by Ethiopian troops backed by the U.S. Once they started moving, the al-Qaeda operatives became easier to track, and the U.S. military started preparing for an airstrike, using unmanned aerial drones to keep them under surveillance and moving the aircraft carrier Eisenhower out of the Persian Gulf towards Somalia. But when the order was given, the mission was assigned to the AC-130 gunship operated by the U.S. Special Operations Command. If they got the al-Qaeda operatives they were after, this would deal a blow to al-Qaeda in Africa. But, Katie, that remains an if. David, do you have any idea, meanwhile, how long the U.S. has been planning this attack? Well, <clears throat> some, uh, the capital of Mogadishu fell on December 28th, and since then these al-Qaeda operatives have been on the move. My sense is that they really started getting good intelligence on their whereabouts over the weekend.